Okay, what I want to talk to you guys about, and gals, is a term called like-on-like. Like. Now, what does it mean? Like-on-like like refers to when we're putting one type, the same type of materials over each other. Meaning, for example, we've got a water-based dye. Now, it doesn't matter if it's an alcohol-based dye. Alcohol and water mix so I hear. Anyway, point being, what will happen, in the, particularly in the case of dyes and, and a lot of the stains, is because the pigments in them are water soluble or alcohol soluble, when we put a water base over it, we start to redissolve the color. I've got a little water-based finish here, and I've got a water-based dye on here. Can you see the end of the brush? See the pink? I'm picking up the color because Again, the water-based finish is dissolving it. Now, this can and cannot be a problem. The issue is, and the same thing applies, if you put an oil-based stain on, and then you come back pretty quick, or too quick, rather is a better term, with an oil base, with an oil finish, you can start to pull it too. Now that said, it's usually not a big issue. The key is, is to, to do two things. First is to let it dry really well. And the second thing is, is to apply the first, it particularly, now this is particularly with a hand applied. Because one of the things when you're brushing it, is you're brushing it, wiping it, whatever, it's that mechanical pull that the brush is going to put on it. Now putting a quick, putting a quick, light, thin coat, you will pull less than if you try to put a lot on. You want to get it sealed in. Now, and we'll go over this more in our, in the segment on work dealing with runs. If you're spraying a like on like, you want to be real careful because if you get a run in the first coat, you can actually pick up color. As the run comes down, it's dissolving color and it'll kind of pull it down and you'll see it in the run. Again, in the run segment, we'll take care of it. We'll teach you how to deal with that. Now, there's another thing. It's called color migration. That is also part of the same issue. Now back here, I sprayed a little bit of water-based finish on this. And when I scuff my first coat, I'm not getting a lot, but I'm getting a little bit of pink. Now, red seem to be worse than any of them, red tones. But what's happening is that water-based finish went on softened up the water-based pigment and it migrates up into the finish. Again, typically not a major problem. But I want you to be aware of it so if you're doing your mid-coat sanding and whatever and you see it, you don't freak out. Now usually after the first coat, it pretty much goes away. It's sealed in. Now I'm going to refer you back to the segment on glazing. And glazing is where we take, in this case, we would take the same color dye and go over top of the first coat of finish after we scuff sand it. Any color that we might have pulled, we're going to actually put back. Now, is there anything you can do to totally eliminate it? Yes, there is. The first is, you can use a coat of shellac. 
but you got to spray it. And here's the reason. If you take shellac, now if I take a shellac and I wipe it, again, on a water base, shellac is an alcohol base, and alcohol and water, one will dissolve the other. If I spray the shellac on, I'm going to seal it down. But I can still get a little bit of that color migration. Now, how can I totally avoid it? Predominantly, if I'm using a water base. And that's to take a good oil that we can put a water base over. Uh, again, I'll go, you know, here's, here's, you know, I could use seal cell, let it dry, but I'm going to have to let it dry at least 24 hours. Uh, 48 is better. The armor seal. Um, I wouldn't, you know, form these tongue oil. I wouldn't go with the polys so much. Some of the polys, they, they can be a little tenacious and, and can give you a little bit of an adhesion issue when you're putting a water base over. The best solution is just to simply spray your color. I mean, spray your, your finish. Spray a light coat on, let it dry, give it a scuff sand, then move on. The oil bases are not near as problematic as the water bases. And again, that simply has to do with the fact that the oil, even an oil dye, the oil is, by, is bonding it to the surface. And oils, no matter what, are going to seal the surface to a degree. So they kind of bite in a lot better and the oil holds the pigment on better. Because again, most of your water-based finishes are simply, you know, again, a stain, it's pigment with finish. And the finish kind of glues it on. But it doesn't have that much, that much finish in it. But, and so therefore you can get a little bit of like-on-like -like issues. Just, just be aware of it and don't freak out on it. Um, and and when and when you're there's another segment out here. I'm stammering here. There's another segment out here called layering colors, and we'll talk about this a little bit more in that because we'll see that. And that's where we're using a dye, a base dye, then we're using a stain over top of it. So just don't get too excited. It'll be all right.